Hi, hello everyone. Uh, I've been reading a lot about the uh, vSphere HTML5 web client and got good reviews. Everybody likes it. So I thought, hey, let's uh, check it out what it is. Um, you can find the uh, HTML web client, HTML5 web client on the Fling website for VMware. And as you can see, there is uh, already a new version from HQ 1.9. Uh, I think they are started at uh, 1.1. 1 .1. Let's see. Yes. So there are there are some new features in it, uh, and they're still building it. So it's it's pretty nice. Uh, it's pretty good develop. So I've the uh, downloaded the 1.8 and the server configuration uh, bat file. So to win some time in the video, I already. Um, uploaded the uh, OVA, OVA file so let me just refresh my client here and I already copied the bot file to a local directory here on my uh, vCenter server and I already run it run it on the uh, vCenter server which will create three files so the DS properties stroke and the web client properties so you have to run it as a administrator and a command prompt or else it won't uh, generate the files correctly so once that is done let's go ahead and let us boot up the uh, appliance the vSphere web 5 appliance this one here So the standard OVA file uh, template is yeah, what's the name that is stored tin or tick uh, IP address I took a DHCP so it's a random IP number uh, and for the rest yeah accept license and uh, deploy it so let's see what the IP address is of the appliance so I don't know yet Oh yeah. Also, if you running the script, the server configuration bat file, and you didn't install on the uh, default locations, then you have to edit this uh, set key tool set vecs cli, and on the very bottom, also the client here. So keep in mind that you have to edit those if you don't have the default location. So let's see, it's 10.10.214, 10 let's see, we have to create some directories and copy the files from the vCenter, let me just copy this, them back to my local shared storage, oh, yes. Go ahead and let's copy them back here. Okay. So I'm gonna use Putty now for uh, oh no sorry WinSCP to log into the uh, appliance. Let's see if that works. Maybe you have to open some ports. I don't know. I think it's root. Let's see. Uh, demo VA is the password. Let's log in. Yes. Continue. Okay. Let's see. We have to create folders in the etc directory. Then VMware and create the following folders. New folder. Let's create first the vSphere client. Under the vSphere client, we have to oh, create new folders. Config. 
again v sphere collides and last folder is v sphere features there we go then we have to copy the store let's see okay let's go ahead and go to my directory no again go here okay let's go ahead and go to the uh, folder where I copied the three crypt files so we have to copy the store file to the main root folder so where we are now so it is the VM or vSphere client let's go ahead and drag and drop then we have to copy config you have to copy the ds file to the config and the web client property should be under vSphere client i don't know where i have why i have to create the other directories okay that's the manual then you have a separate ntp server okay that's fine let's see we can now we have to i have to go and add and add it no that's fine because it's on dcp we don't have to restart you can use putty also if you want a better uh, command line and let's see log it and run the command start server okay now i have to go and use putty because they want to use the command okay root demo I don't know if it was VA. VA. let's see okay now go to etc init dot d Issue client start. Don't use the all right. Don't use the CD. We have to start it. It says so. Let's see when it started. You should be able to navigate to the appliance device IP address double double point nine four four three. So I don't know how much time it will take. Let's see how long it will. So um, it started in 1.51 seconds. So let's see if we can access the GUI. So it's not vSphere for all clients, it's uh, slash UI. Uh, vSphere client will also work um, without the ports also from uh, version 1.7. Uh, so you can go ahead and type that in. Okay, and here we are. It looks pretty clean. Let's see how fast it is. We can see how much errors there are directly. Nice. Linked V center center. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh, it's pretty fast. 
let's go ahead and see okay it's pretty clean pretty fast uh, in my opinion i'm running on just sata disk so not as as these it's pretty pretty uh pretty good permissions monitor that is already integrated or not the v center operation manager let's see that's just the performance of the vSphere. I don't think it's integrated yet. No, I don't think so. So let's see, launch modes. Let's just continue anyway. Let's see, uh, yeah, it's faster. I like it. Okay, data stores. Let's see, uh, let's go ahead and look for my distribution switch. As you can see, you can also do that. Nice. What else? Data stores. Yeah. It looks pretty neat. So that's it. Uh, I would recommend that you test it because I think it will be available in the next version of vSphere and they're probably um, heavy developing it to be in the next version because the flash is just too slow and well, HTML5 is just so much better. So that's it. Thank you for watching.